Hi, I'm Brian Salerno, the Director of the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement, and this is This Week at Interior. This Week at Interior. The March on Washington teaches us that we are not trapped by the mistakes of history, that we are masters of our fate, but it also teaches us that the promise of this nation will only be kept when we work together. President Obama, the leading voice among dozens who spoke this week at the Lincoln Memorial to mark the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington and Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. It was all hands on deck for National Park Service employees and hundreds of volunteers and staff as a week's worth of festivities marking the 1963 march reached its peak. People lined the reflecting pool and crowded onto Washington Monument grounds under gray and sometimes rainy skies. Arresting images from NASA this week of the raging rim fire that's slowly burning its way into Yosemite National Park. The fire has been blazing since August 17th, has so far consumed nearly 200,000 acres. It's the seventh largest fire on record in California, threatening thousands of buildings and burning brighter at night than the city lights of Reno. Nearly 5,000 firefighters are working to contain the fire. That is unreal. Good news for Everglades restoration. Secretary Jewell thanked Florida Governor Rick Scott for announcing that the state of Florida is committing $90 million over the next three years for the construction of the next phase of the Tamiami Trail Bridge in the Everglades. Secretary Jewell calls the effort a key step to increase water flow in the central Everglades and restore this critical ecosystem. Water making news in a rather unexpected place this week, the surface of the moon. A joint study from NASA, the U.S. Geological Survey, and Johns Hopkins University described the detection of so-called magmatic water on the lunar surface, water that wells up from deep inside the moon's interior. The water was detected by NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, an instrument on board an Indian research spacecraft. Secretary Jewell was the featured speaker this week at a naturalization ceremony for 20 brand new American citizens in Seattle. The secretary, who emigrated from England to Seattle as a child, called it a privilege to speak at the ceremony held at the Refugee Women's Alliance. She used the occasion to call for comprehensive immigration reform. A recent White House report shows that providing a pathway to earn citizenship would boost U.S. GDP by $1.4 trillion over the next 10 years. The secretary travels to Alaska this week to start a multi-day visit. She'll hold public meetings in King Cove and Cold Bay, then spend time visiting Eisenbeck National Wildlife Refuge, the North Slope, the National Petroleum Reserve Alaska, and the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. That's this week at Interior.